Hello everyone, uh, Mary Maid at Spike with the Pagan Vlogs. First of all, I would like to uh, wish anybody who celebrates it a very happy Easter, whether you celebrate it for religious or secular purposes. Uh, for me, it's sort of, as a pagan, it's sort of like a continuation of, um, continuation of Ostara, for me personally. But I, I wish you all a good one nonetheless. Um, it was really funny, my, my dad, uh, I explained to them I celebrate Ostara, um, and they know that I don't you know, celebrate Christian holidays, but they ask me, you know, do you celebrate Easter? And I'm like, well, I celebrate Ostara, but that already passed. And so, like, they left me some stuff for Easter, and one thing they did is they got me a card, and it was an Easter card, and my dad went in and crossed out Easter in the card and wrote Ostara, but he didn't know how it was spelled, so he spelled it A-S-T-A-R-A, -A -A, or something like that. Well, one letter off, but I thought it was a nice thought. Um, now, in response to uh, Reverend Don's video about can you be a Christian and a pagan, and, or a Wiccan, or whatever. And my feeling on it is, is I agree that it depends on what you mean by Christianity. But what I, but I think what you mean by, or what I would mean when I say depends what you mean by Christianity, is that it depends on whether your form of Christianity says you can be, uh, you can follow sort of a Wiccan-ish, pagan-ish path, or whether your form of Christianity completely condemns it. I mean, it's not really up to how we judge your Christianity. I mean, some uh, pagan traditions might not want people who are also Christian. But I don't think that it depends upon how we look at your form of Christianity, but rather how your form of Christianity looks at this sort of a path. Um, now, some people might be sort of paganish, Christianish, but they choose not to uh, partake in certain things because they believe that it is against a part of their faith. Um, for example, they could celebrate uh, Wiccan traditions and whatnot, but let's say they won't uh, participate in they won't participate in anything skyclad because they believe that they're you know because of some Christian viewpoint, or they will not participate in anything. Um, let's say someone might be a Christian who won't talk to spirits or something like that. I mean, I think that it's up to each person to decide what's right for them, but I think there's a certain point where it's like, if you are so restricted by your Christianity, can you even really say you're a pagan? If, if you know, your Christianity restricts so much of who we are and what we do, but what you feel comfortable with is what you should participate in, you know? But if a public ritual, and what people tend to do in a public ritual, is to... Um, I guess extreme for you, or is is against your religion, then I think you really got to think about is the pagan path, you know, even compatible with your Christianity, if you can't even go to like a pagan pride event and participate in all the rituals without having a problem. I mean, but I think that there are many different forms of Christianity, you know, again, I think that Reverend Don was completely on point when he said that it depends if you're talking about ideas like heaven and hell. Can ideas like heaven and hell, um, I think that what he means is sort of like the idea of the need for salvation from Jesus to get to heaven, la la la. I mean, but, I mean that could mesh up, I suppose, but I mean, you're, you're in circle with a bunch of people who are hellbound, if that's what it is. You're practicing spiritually with a bunch of people who are hellbound. I mean, that, that just seems sort of interesting in my eyes that you would have that someone would have any interest in that you know if it's like you have to accept jesus as your personal savior to get to heaven if that's the sort of viewpoint you have i mean you're entitled to it but i have a hard time seeing how you would be interested or even or you know how you would want to be in a pagan path um but if you you know follow a lighter form of christianity and take rather the teachings of jesus or seeing Jesus as a form of deity, or even your own personal form of deity. Um, if you see it that way, or if you see that all the deities are all part of God, you know, some, some philosophy like that, some form of Christianity that accepts what Jesus teaches, um, and accepts Jesus as a personal, um, either a deity or a, t or a prophet, a teacher, without condemning people who are on a different path. And I think that that's what it is, is that, you know, if you're going to condemn people that are on a different path, I, I have a hard time seeing how you yourself would want to step on a 
would want to incorporate a different path into your work. It's like someone who says that Buddhists are going to go to hell and then goes to, like, you know, and then practices Zen Buddhism. It doesn't make any sense. You know, it... I hope I'm making some sense here, but... My thought is, is that it more depends on how you view our path rather than um, how we view your path of Christianity. And I personally have no problem with um, Christianity or Islam or Judaism because I think that um, they all have beauty and I think that they all have um, value within them. But I think what's uh, wrong is when they try to claim they are the only uh, path to God or the only path to spirit or the only path to paradise. Uh, then I start to have an issue. But I think just the practice of those religions and the honor and respect for those religions is, is not wrong by any means. And I think that, um, you know, pulling from those religions or being part of one of those religions and pulling from other religions, as long as you're doing so with respect for those other religions, I don't see it as wrong at all. So, I don't know. I, I'm an eclectic, so I guess that's how I'm looking at it. But um, that's just how I see it. So it's Spike uh, here with the Pagan Vlogs. Peace out, much love, and blessed be everybody.